hello guys welcome back this is the 16th video of the series and the question is pretty straight but it is a bit tricky question so the question saying that we are having a data frame okay we can say we have this data frame id name salary where we have this id 1 name a and salary like 1000 likewise we have id 2 where we are having a salary of 2000 there 3000 4000 so we need to show the output like this total salary 1000 3000 6000 and 10000 okay so what does it mean is that see what we are doing we are adding uh, a salary you know uh, first we added salary 1000 so we kept like you know uh, 1000 a over here then we added 1000 and 2000 so the, the salary is 3000 now then uh, you know that we we have to add this 1000 2000 and 3000 so the salary would be 6000 and then the last row would be the sum, the sum of all the all the ids right we can say so how we can do that uh, okay so you know here what we will be using we will be using a sum function with the partitions i mean not partition with windowing uh, functions right so what we can do over here you know i can do like this df2 dot with column okay and here i can have this total cell column like that okay and s should be capital let's keep in uh, you know a small letter and here i am gonna use a sum function okay and here i am using what what column cell column okay and i am saying that i am using a window dot order by call of id okay now if i show you df2 dot show now you will see that we are having a total salary column and thousand three thousand six thousand and ten thousand right why why i have done um, why i have used here sum function because i need to sum all the rows one by one right and since we do not need to do any partitions that's why i did not use here partition partition is optional over here and instead of that i have used order by order by on what basis on id basis i have used okay chalo let's you know uh, change this uh, this thing okay the data frame let me change it little bit let me copy it and let me now if i do here one and here if i keep let's say 100 okay uh, then we'll see what what would be the output or what will be the output see now you can see we have this thousand thousand two times right Th i mean i mean one uh, 1100 two times right so here here if i uh, over partition by we can use partition yeah we can use partition by also right so if i use here call of id dot like this now you can see he it you know it is doing a sum on basis of id partition so see for this and one just a minute if i use here total cell and distinct now you see that you know we are having here 11000 then 4000 then 3000 and 2000 now what happened actually the order is now changed right the order is changed now if i show you df2 dot show the input right so you see that the order has been changed correct so you know if i use here distinct so let me remove distinct now you you see that it is coming in a correct order and so if you do not want to order then you know we can say like this uh, right and uh, yeah i hope that it works and now let me instead of you know we can use drop duplicates also so that's not a problem 
total cell we can use okay leave it so you know i hope that you understood right what i am trying to do if you want to you know do uh you know uh, do a sum on basis of partition then you can use a partition otherwise it is not needed for our case i just you know told you that you know we can use partitions also based on the question right so let me just remove this thing so that it will work properly right now it seems okay i hope that you have understood it and please share this question with your friends so that they will understand it easily chalo thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture